Did you know that an Armenian is the father of plastic surgery? Or that Armenia is the first country to adopt Christianity? Stay with me for the duration of this video and I will show you these and many more positive facts about Armenia. Welcome to See The Good Channel. In every new video, I will do a shout out to random subscribers. If you will like to be mentioned, please go ahead and subscribe. Shout out to Esther. Thank you for your support. You are the best. 10 Positive Facts About Armenia, The Land of Noah 1. Armenians have made very significant contributions to medicine and other fields. Verizdat Kazanjian, a dentist and an oral surgeon was the first to successfully complete a plastic surgery. He founded plastic surgery and earned the prestigious position of first ever professor of plastic surgery at Harvard. Raymond Damadian invented the MRI machine and was the first to use it in 1977. German-Armenian nuclear physicist Michel Terpagoshin invented the PET scan. Rare Shahinian pioneered endoscopic surgical techniques used to treat all sorts of skull-based disorders. Dr. John Nigerian is the father of modern organ transplantation. He was the first to conduct successful kidney and pancreas transplants. Armenian scientist Luther George Simjian invented the ATM machines. Alec Manujan, a businessman and philanthropist, invented the first one-handle faucet. It allowed mixing cold and warm water and controlling the water flow. Engineer Ivan Adamian is one of the founders of Color TV with his tricolor principle. 2. First country to adopt Christianity. Armenia became the first nation to adopt Christianity as its state religion in AD 301. Today, 97% of the country is Christian, and it is home to one of the most beautiful churches in the world. The Holy Ichimiadzin, the world's first church, was built in Armenia. 3. Armenia is safe. Armenia is safe and ranks as ninth safest country in the world. Armenians are extremely welcoming to visitors. In Armenia, there is no distinction between tourists and locals. All attractions in Armenia charge the same price for both locals and tourists. This makes Armenia a very appealing tourist destination. 4. Armenian cars are eco-friendly. Armenia is leading the way towards achieving 100% natural gas to reduce air pollution. Cars in Armenia run on natural gas. In 2015, about 77% of their cars use natural gas. 5. It has the world's oldest winery. Archaeologists discovered a winery in 2011 near the village of Arini that predates any other wineries that have ever been discovered anywhere else in the world. 6. Armenia has won several chess championship. The men's team won the chess Olympiad for several years, the European Team Championships in 1999 and the World Team Championship in 2011. Chess is an important part of Armenian culture. They practice it every day, and it is required in their schools. 7. They have the longest non-stop cable car in the world. The Tate of Aerial Tramway is the world's longest non-stop cable car, measuring 18,871 feet and connecting the Tate of Monastery and the village of Halitzer. 8. It is home to the oldest shoes. In 2008, the world's oldest shoes were discovered in Armenia. The footwear was discovered in a hole in a wall, along with a pair of goat horns. The footwear was shielded from the elements by a thick layer of sheep excrement. 9. An Armenian created the first mathematics textbook. An Armenian mathematician wrote the world's first mathematics textbook. The first textbook was written by Armenian scientist David the Invincible and is now housed in Matt Nadarin's Institute of Ancient Manuscripts. 10. Armenia has a very high literacy rate. Adult literacy in Armenia was 99.8% in 2020. 99% of its citizens can read and write fluently. Beautiful places to visit in Armenia are Dilijan National Park, Lake Sivan, Ambered Fortress, Noravank, and much more. Planning to visit the beautiful country of Armenia? Here are some helpful information. 
The average price of a three-star hotel in the capital of Yerevan is $51 for a weeknight and $48 for a weekend night. Prices for hotels drops 48% in November which is the low season and increases 32% in February, the high season. Do you have any information about the good in Armenia that I haven't shared in this video? Please share it in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates.